Shalom, all praise is due to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rechak Kodash, the bonus to the elect apostle, bishop, elders, that great, no stone, and well. Shalom to like Akel, David, whose work in sincerity and truth, not for vain glory in season, out of season. All right, let's go here. Uh, this is uh, uh, Jeremiah, the 51st chapter, and the fifth verse. Excuse me. Excuse me, this is Jeremiah, the 51st chapter, and the fifth verse. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, it says, for Israel, which are you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, you're the Israelites, according to biblical prophecy. Okay. For Israel hath not been forsaken. See, Israel ain't been forsaken, man. Nor Judah of his God. All right? Of Yahweh, the Lord of hosts. Though their land was filled with sin against the Holy One of Israel. Okay? And I was back then. In the ancient world, we had our own land, praising other idols. Okay? And all the way to the same every day now. All right, going on, man of wickedness, man. Okay, adultery, praising other gods, murder. Okay, all right, same thing that it was doing back then, but but it says for Israel had not been forsaken. See, and that's the thing. See, the so-called white man and these other heathen nations, the Arabs, the Africans, East Indians. Okay, the Polynesians. All right. You know, they would love for the nation of Israel to be forsaken, especially the so-called white man. All right, because the elite of them, they know who you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are. They know that you're the Lord's chosen people. They know that you're the Israelites. Okay? They know that you're the so-called real Jews. Okay? They know that you're the real Jews. Okay? Which is the so-called black man. They know this, man. They know you so-called West Indian and Haitians and Native Americans and Guatemalans and Mexicans and Dominicans and you know what I'm saying? Venezuelans and they know that you're the Jews. I mean, they, they know that you're the Israelites, man. Okay? All right? But we ain't been forsaken. Even though we're in a state that we're in right now, guess what? We're, the, we're still the Lord's chosen people. And Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai is going to have mercy on his people, man. The elect of them. And then you go have mercy on all the nation of Israel. All right. Let me see. Isaiah 54. Isaiah 54 and 7, if I'm not mistaken. Isaiah 54 and 7. Yep. It says, For a... For, for a small moment have I forsaken thee. <laughs> yeah, well, why? Because our land was filled with sin, man. Because we was going to hell off, man. Praising this God of the, 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 the Canaanites, praising this God of the, 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 the Babylonians, praising this, praising the so-called goddamn white man of being <laughs> the Lord's chosen people. You know what I'm saying? You know? Bowing down to that face, that leprous face of uh, uh, of the so-called white Jesus Christ. You see what I'm saying? You know, yeah, man, because we were going the hell off. Okay, we we're breaking every law, statutes, and commandment that Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, set up for us to do, man. All right. For a small moment, I have forsaken thee. Yeah, and that's why the so-called white man is able to do what he do to so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans here in America and throughout the whole entire world. Central South America, West Africa, wherever you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans were scattered, because we were scattered as a people, okay, through the four corners of the earth, you know? Because the Lord forsook us, man. That's why we live in the ghettos and the slums. You know, that's why we all messed up off of drugs and all kind of diseases. And we in the hands of the so-called white man. 
Okay? All right? Yes, yeah, Salakia. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know? So, I mean, hey. But, see, the whole thing is that Yahweh made a covenant with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Okay? All right? He made a covenant. He, he made a promise to them that their seed, that their seed, which are you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, 12 tribes of Israel, all right, that they're going to rule in the kingdom of heaven, all right, okay, all right, so, for a small moment have I forsaken thee, but with great mercies will I gather thee, in a little wrath I hid my face from thee, for a moment but with everlasting kindness will I have mercy on thee, saith Yahweh, thy Redeemer. Hey man, so there you go. You know? There you go, man. You know, just because the so-called white man is in rulership and the other heathen nations, okay, are in rulership, guess what? With everlasting kindness, the Lord Yahweh is going to have mercy on us and redeem us through his son, Yahweh Shai. And do what? And do what? Uh, let me see. Let me see if I can get it. Uh, let me see. Not that, not that, and do what? Let's see. All right. All right. Right here. Ezekiel the 25th chapter in the 14th verse says and I will lay my vengeance upon Edom which is the so called white man by the hand of my people Israel which are you so called Negroes, Latinos and Americans starting with the elect of you and they shall do in Edom according to mine anger and according to my theory okay according to my anger excuse me and they shall do in Edom, which is a so-called white man, according to mine anger and according to my theory. And they shall know my vengeance, saith the Lord Yahweh. Okay? The Lord God. It says, thus, yeah, 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 yep, yeah, that's, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. That's exactly what I wanted to get. That's right. So, yeah, man, Esau gonna get it. It's gonna be by who? And I will lay my vengeance upon Edom by the hand of my people Israel. Okay? All right? Okay? And what is a part of that vengeance? Them going into slavery. Okay? All right? All right, so, you know, I hope you brothers been edified. And with that, Shalom. Because we know Esau is going into slavery according to prophecy. Matter of fact, let me get that. Uh, let me get that. Say the 14th chapter. Okay. It says, 14 and 1 For Yahweh The Lord will have mercy on Jacob And will yet choose Israel So called Nichols, Latinos and Americans And set them in their own land Which is the land of Israel You Arabs are going to be kicked out of that land Esau you're going to be kicked out of that land Okay But you're coming back into the land to serve slavery You're going to be destroyed By them nuclear missiles over there in Israel And um, you're going to be brought back in there to serve slavery and the strangers shall be joined with them. Strangers talking about the Israelite foreigners, the Israelites that scattered through the four corners of the earth. And they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. 
and the people shall take them and bring them to their place. And the house of Israel, which are you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, start with the elect, shall possess them in the land of the Lord, Yahweh, in the land of Yahweh, in the land of Israel, for servants and handmaids. And they shall take them captives, who captives they were, and they shall rule over their oppressors. There you go. Hope you've been edified, and with that, Shalom.